Now, Eyewitness News Sports with Greg Kirk. 29 years of hometown sports. Has it ever had another host, Greg? I've had many co-hosts. Right, but, no, but, I've been but you've been there from the very beginning. 29 yeah, yeah. years. And, and we're looking ahead to another great and season. I'm only 33. How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, My point anyway. exactly. Yeah, okay, anyway. Here we go again. Year 29 of Hometown Sports debuts Sunday, August 30th. Tonight, we begin our team by team, league by league preview of the 2015 season with the first of 24 previews as we hit 24 campuses, obviously. Our first stop, why not start at the top with the defending Southwest U7 League champion, Liberty High Patriots. Now, countdown to Hometown, powered by Extreme Wireless. Carpet Outlet Plus, Salty's Barbecue, and Three Way Chevrolet. Want to see a head coach smile? Ask him about an offensive line returning four of five starters. It's pretty exciting for us because they don't know exactly what we're looking for. They've gotten smarter. They've they've kind of studied film in the off season. So, uh, pretty exciting to have that core group back. And behind that line, a senior quarterback in Utah State bound Jordan Love. To have your guy, a returning senior, come back with the confidence he has to run your offense. It's going to be like having a coach on the field. We're going to be better than last year. Uh, every, everyone's going to be uh, get a role, and everybody's going to uh, have to perform to that role. So everybody has their own job to do, and we're all going to try and we're all going to try and use our jobs to get that one goal at the end of the year, which is the championship. To be certain, the Patriots lost some marquee players. And running back Anthony Mariscal now at Arizona. And wide receiver Braylon Scott at Colorado State. On defense, they must replace the entire secondary. But two of those holes will be plugged by transfers. Brady Serta from Frontier, Johnny Balderas from Shafter. The defense is anchored by UCLA-bound linebacker Chris Barnes. I'm going to do my job as for my team to do my job and, and do what I need to do to, to, to get the win. So I'm going I'm, to I'm be flying around all, the, all, all around the field and making tackles too. But... I know I have 10 other guys that can, that can get the job done. The defending Southwest Assembly League champs know they are every opponent's biggest game. I like it. I mean, t every team's going to come in here uh, one to beat us because we are gonna we got a bullseye on our back. So everybody, everybody, when they get the schedule, they look at us and they just know that that's the game they want to win. If repeating isn't motivation enough, last year's Division I title game loss to Edison is. We do want to get back there and win it this time because last year, I mean, I don't, no one that likes talking about it because it was, it's a sore, it's a sore feeling. But that that feeling is going to drive us each and every week to get back to where we want to be. We want to be one of the best teams, if not the best team in town, and we want that every week is a big game. So you know that's kind of what we've been working for. You know, since January we talked about, hey, you know, we got unfinished business. We're on the mountain. We got to continue to climb. We aren't there, and if we continue with that attitude, it's okay. All right, break down our Patriot points. School that opened in 1999. You might figure their school colors are red, white, and blue. Actually, navy, red, and silver. They have an award-winning Patriot marching band that's won numerous awards over the years. And one of the famous alumnus, that would be Colton Schmidt, a punter with the Buffalo Bills.